my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, those whose ultimate citizenship is in heaven, listen carefully to the declaration of our King Jesus Christ today. I am the King to testify to the truth. Everyone belongs to the truth, listens to my voice. The King Jesus Christ has absolute authority to rule. He has the authority to rule me personally, to rule his church, and to rule this universe. He is not the kind of ruler when most of us uh, think of a king. St. Gregory of Nazianzus tests our understanding of Jesus' kingship in many different images from earthly one. The King Jesus Christ came from eternal glory, yet he was born in a stable. He was obedient as a child, yet as a child taught the wise in the temple. He created all things, yet he possessed nothing. He brought joy to multitudes, yet was a man of sorrow. He hungered, but he fed thousands. He thirsted, but he cried, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He was so cheap for only 30 pieces of silver, but he redeems the world at a great price, for the price was his own blood. He raised the dead, yet he offered himself as the victim to death. He was the most innocent of all humanity, yet was convicted as a criminal. He is the suffering of the sick, but was himself scourged and tortured for our sins. He was due the worship of men and angels, but was mocked when we, he was lifted up on the cross. He died, yet rose from the dead and destroyed death. He was the sovereign right to do as he pleases to our lives, yet a waste on invitation to enter even the heart of a child. He came in humility and was killed in shame, but will return in glory. Many reject him today, but all will bow the knee to him at his appearing. Although Jesus has all the power and authority now. He chooses to reign over only those who receive him and invite him into their lives. And when we follow Jesus, he gives us a great blessing. When we follow Jesus, we are able to know and see the truth. Jesus declared, I am the way and the truth and the life. Those who reject Christ's reign and authority will have no meaning in their lives. When we refuse to accept Christ and acknowledge his authority over us, we become disconnected from the truth and we end up destroying our lives and the lives of others because we have learned to love a lie. 
Everything goes wrong without God. When people do not accept Jesus' kingship in their life, they will worship their own kingship. They constantly speak about how they hate their life. There is no joy, no meaning, only bitterness and sorrow. As the Christian community today, we are seeking to live more fully under the authority of our King Jesus. We want to build our church family of Christians who are so convinced of our loyalty to King Jesus Christ and our citizenship in heaven. Brothers and sisters, if you say that Jesus Christ is your King, means that your absolute loyalty is to the crucified and risen one. Amen.